I worry that social interaction on that level is being destroyed in favor of social interaction on a global level, which is cool, but I, it, 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 it's getting in the way of face-to-face. -face. There's an epidemic in America. Smartphone penetration reaches up to 85% of the U.S. population. That's more than 270 million Americans who have a smartphone, and an increasing number of them are addicted. Dr. Mark Murphy of St. Luke's Behavioral Clinic says cell phone addiction is very real. I mean, at this stage, I would say it is. Um, and I know that the social media platforms believe it so because they gear their software in a way that, that, that promotes addiction, so I would say yes. And through social media apps is one of the prime ways the addiction sets in. We want to be connected to our fellow person. We're social creatures by nature. Um, we like to be connected. There's a lot of data out there that says the average person has at least 150 individuals in their life at any one point in some way or another and cell phones facilitate that times 10. Today, Americans view their smartphones an average of 52 times per day. 85% of smartphone users will check their device in the middle of conversation. Dr. Murphy says one of the ways to cut down on becoming addicted is to program yourself to only use your phone at specific times and balance your wants with your needs. I, I want to know that I'm, you know, getting responses from family, friends, whomever, but I do it in a in a programmed way where I check X number of times a day, but no more. Garrett Hoddle, KMBT News.